ஹாய் ஆல் வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ஸ்டேஷன் இது வரைக்கும் நம்ம சேனலில் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணாதவங்க ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்கள் இந்த வீடியோவில் நைன்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் சயின்ஸ் யூனிட் நைன்டீன் பிளான் ஃபிசியாலஜி இந்த லெசன் புக் பேக் எக்ஸசைஸ் கேட்டிருந்தீங்க பேஜ் நம்பர் டூ ரொம்ப நம்பர் ஒன் சூஸ் தி கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் the tropic movement that helps the climbing vines to find a suitable support is thigmotrophism answer is c option thigmotrophism second one the chemical reaction occurs during photosynthesis is a option co2 is reduced and water is oxidized carbon dioxide is reduced and water is oxidized is the answer third one the bending of root of your plant in response to water is called hydrotrophism c option is the right answer number 4 a growing seedling is kept in the dark room a burning candle is placed near it for a few days the tip part of the seedling bent towards the burning candle this is an example of phototrophism c option is the right answer number 5 the root of the plant is second and third root of the plant is positively geotrophic but negatively phototrophic negatively phototrophic but positively hydrotrophic so b option is the right answer that is second state and third one b option is the third uh, right answer second and third sixth one the non directional movement of a plant part in response to temperature is called thermonasty answer is b option number 7 chlorophyll in a leaf is required for photosynthesis a option is the answer number 9 transpiration takes place through stomata d option stomata is the answer page number 231 roman number 2 fill in the blanks first one the shoot system grows upward in response to sunlight second root is positively hydrotrophic as well as positively geotrophic ipo da nama choose the correct answer la paathom so answer is root third one the green pigment present in the plant is as you know green pigment plant la leaf la la paathirupinga green color pigment chlorophyll number 4 the solar tracking of sunflower in accordance with the path of sun is due to phototrophism answer is phototrophism number 5 the response of a plant plant part towards gravity is geotropism sixth one plants take in carbon dioxide for photosynthesis but need oxygen for their living answer is oxygen roman number 3 match column a with column b column a roots growing downwards into soil answer is positive geotropism second shoots growing towards the light answer is positive phototrophism third shoots growing upward answer is negative geotrophism fourth one roots growing downwards away from light that is negative phototrophism the number is 2 3 4 1 Roman number 4 state whether true or false if false correct the statement first one the response of a part of plant to the chemical stimulus is called phototrophism the statement is false the response of a part of a plant to the chemical stimulus is called chemotrophism and the chemical stimulus ku response kudutadhu and the plant na adu vandu chemotrophism da so what is the correct statement second shoot is positively phototrophic and negatively geotrophic the statement is true third one 
when the weather is hot water evaporates less which is due to opening of stomata the statement is false the statement false correct statement is when the weather is hot water evaporates faster which is due to opening of stomata not lesser correct statement on the faster number 4 photosynthesis produces glucose and carbon dioxide the statement is false photosynthesis produces glucose and oxygen then fifth one photosynthesis is important in releasing oxygen to keep the atmosphere in balance the statement is true number 6 plants lose water when the stomata on leaves are closed the statement is false correct statement is plants lose water when the stomata on leaves are opened that is a correct statement Roman number five. Answer very briefly. First one. What is nastic movement? Page number two hundred and twenty nine. Nastic movement na enna two hundred and twenty nine. See two twenty nine la. Points to remember la ruk paranga. Second point. Non directional. response of a plant part to stimulus is called nastic movement okay points to remember la second point non directional response of a plant part to stimulus is called nastic movement roman number 5th la first one answer then question number 2 name the plant part a which bends in the direction of gravity but away from the light Plant part is root. Answer is root. B. Which bends towards light but away from the force of gravity. That is shoot. Shoot in the name. Manu ka male are karthi shoot. Eliya manu ka kid are karthi root. So that is gravity ka bend a ho. Ana light ka kade yada. Away from light root. Ana light ka bend towards light but away from the force of gravity in a mode shoot. Answer is shoot. third one differentiate phototrophism from photonasty page number 226 and 227 226 see 226 la differentiation illiya phototrophism phototrophism na na movement of a plant part towards light example shoot of a plant adu ezhudikonga next 227 227 la photo nasty in rukku liya movement of a part of a plant in response to light exam taraxacum officinale roman number 5th la third one answer differentiate nam bodu neenga box potu ezhudikonga next fourth one photosynthesis converts energy x into energy y A option. Uh, sorry, question A. What are X and Y? Answer is X is light energy. Y is chemical energy. Question B. Green plants are autotrophic in their mode of nutrition. Why? Page number two hundred and twenty-eight. Two twenty-eight la. left side la photosynthesis topic uh, heading irukku liya adu keela irukku paarenga green plants are autotrophic in their mode of nutrition because they prepare their food materials through a process called photosynthesis adu varaikku eludhana podum inda three four lines green plants are autotrophic in their mode of nutrition because they prepare their food materials through a process called photosynthesis roman number 5th la 4th b then question number 5 define transpiration page number 229 define transpiration mela irukku paarenga transpiration heading keela the loss of water in the form of water vapor from the aerial parts of the plant body is called as transpiration 
Roman number fifth la fifth one answer. Then question number six. Name the cell that surrounds the stoma. Answer is God cell. Roman number six. Answer briefly. First one. Give the technical terms for the following. A. Growth dependent movements in plants. Tropic movements. Answer is tropic movements. B. Growth independent movements in plants. Answer is nastic movements. Then second. Explain the movements seen in pneumatophores of Avicennia. Answer is pneumato. Pores are specialized roots that can involve in the respiration of plants. This type of roots intakes the gas through its lenticel, a small hole in their both. Then third one, fill in the blanks. They have given 6 carbon dioxide plus dash sunlight chlorophyll dash plus 6 O2 gas. So in the dash la enna fill panna no. Page number 228. 228 la irukku paranga. In the box la irukku paranga. 6 carbon dioxide plus 12 H2O. And the dash la 12 H2O that is water. Next to right side la glucose C6 H12O6 that is glucose plus 6 H2O plus 6 O2 that is oxygen avanga kuduttaanga so in the dash la fill paninom roman number 6 la third one kaana answer fourth one what is chlorophyll page number 229 what is chlorophyll left side la chlorophyll green pigment in leaves Roman number 6 la 4th one answer. Chlorophyll is green pigment in leaves. Then question number 5. Name the part of plant which shows positive geotropism. Why? Answer. Root shows positive geotropism because of the unidirectional movement in response to gravity. Number 6. What is the difference between movement of flower in sunflower plant and closing of the leaves in the mimosa pudica? Answer. A movement of flower in sunflower plant. In sunflower, in sunflower plant, the stem tip follows the path of the sun from dawn to dusk, that is east to west. And in night, it moves from west to east. It is an example of tropic movement in response to light and is called phototrophism. Closing of the leaves in Mimosa pudica. The closing of leaves in Mimosa pudica occurs in response to touch. This is nastic movement and is called thigmonasty. Then page number. 232. 7. Suppose you have a rose plant growing in a pot. How will you demonstrate transpiration in it? Page number 229. 229 la. Rose plant rakali. Take a plastic bag and tie it over a rose plant in the konga. Leaf strike out a rose plant. And place the plant in light. You strike out paneta V. We can see water condensing inside the plastic bag. The water is let out by the leaves. This is due to transpiration. The Maria di Konga, Roman number 6, the 7th one answer. Then, 8th one. Mention the differences between stomatal and lenticular transpiration. Page number 229. Stomatal and lenticular transpiration. Stomatal transpiration. Loss of water from plants through stomata. 
it accounts for 90 to 95% of the water transpired from leaves at the lenticular transpiration la loss of water from plants as vapor through the lenticles the lenticels are tiny openings that protrude from the bark in woody stems and twigs as well as in other plant organs roman number 6th la 8th one kaana answer green la highlight panni irukadha mattum then question number 9 to which directional stimuli do roots respond b shoots respond page number 227 227 mail irukku paarenga shoot system of a plant is positively phototrophic and negatively geotrophic and root system is negatively phototrophic and positively geotrophic roman number 6th la 9th one answer then question roman number 7 answer in detail first one differentiate between tropic and nastic movements page number 228 228 la tropic and nastic movements irukku illaya so in the tabular column la irukku paarenga differences between tropic and nastic movements tropic movements unidirectional response to the stimulus nastic movements vandu non directional response to the stimulus second growth dependent movements idu vandu growth independent movements more or less permanent and irreversible nastic movements vandu temporary and reversible tropic movements found in all plants nastic movements found only in a few specialized plants tropic movements slow action nastic movements immediate action so in the differences between tabular column put edikonga roman number 7th la first one answer second question how will you differentiate the different types of transpiration page number 229 ipo than just before we have seen types of transpiration three types of transpiration stomatal transpiration loss of water from plants through stomata it accounts for 90 to 95% of the water transpired from leaves cuticular transpiration loss of water in plants through the cuticle lenticular transpiration loss of water from plants as vapor through the lenticels the lenticels are tiny openings that protrude from the bark in woody stems and twigs as well as in other plant organs roman number 7 la second one okay these three stomatal transpiration cuticular transpiration lenticular transpiration so in the lesson ketrundinga in the lesson oda book back exercise over next lesson next video la paakalam thank you for your support thanks for watching